complete graphs always have Hamilton circuits. Let's give a definition of a complete graph. Complete graph is a graph where there is an edge between any two pairs of vertices. I'm going to draw the pr example I had previous again because I want to talk about how many Hamilton circuits a graph like that would have. I use the same labeling I used previous. Five vertices The degree of each vertex is going to be 4 because it goes there's a connection to all the other four vertices. But Hamilton circuits has nothing to do with the degree of the vertex. Here's my graph and I want to say suppose that I live at L and I want to answer this question how many Hamilton circuits are there in the complete graph That's above. And I mentioned that, so that, okay, I'm going to say I live at L. They're going to tell you which one to start with, or they're going to assume that you're starting at a particular vertex. I'll write start at L. <clears throat> so when I start at L, how many choices do I have for places to go visit? I have four. I'm thinking L is where I'm, I live and I have four errands to run around town and then I want to go back home I'll do blank 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 I might wonder if I really need that last blank my first stop I have four choices so put a four in the blank I go to my first stop whichever one I picked out for that, and then I'm ready to go to my second place. Second Aaron, how many choices do I have? Well, let's say I went L to P. Then I can go to either N M or O, three choices. I'm going to go to O, an N. Third stop, I have two choices, either M or O. This time I'll go to O. Two choices. After I take care of business at O, I have to go to M. 
I had one choice at that point. Fourth stop. And then here, the final blank, I'm going to put go home. One way, I got to go back to L. So there I gave a different Hamilton circuit than I gave on the previous page. But as I look at the blanks, I say four times three times two times one times one. Well, that's 24. How else could I have written that? Who remembers from chapter 11? That's for factorial. Can you take a guess at a formula for this? I had five vertices. It's four factorial. What if I had six vertices? It would be My first stop, I'd have five choices. It would be five factorial, 120 Hamilton circuits. The formula for the number of Hamilton circuits is going to be the number of vertices minus one. Here it is. If a complete graph has n vertices, then the number of Hamilton circuits is n minus 1 factorial. N minus 1 is in parentheses. I want to do one on the calculator. This one you're, you're going to see on the computer. How many Hamilton circuits does a complete graph have if the graph has 15 vertices? What do we do on that problem? For the solution, 15 minus 1 is 14. So the answer is 14 factorial. If I put that in my calculator, Well, I'm going to get a number in scientific notation. 14, press the PRB key. I'll scroll to the underline the factorial, press equals, press equals again. And I got scientific notation. And on this particular problem, they do not want you to type in scientific notation. They want you to convert that to standard form. So I got 8.71782912 times 10 to the 10th power. I got it in scientific notation because the calculator wasn't capable of showing me all the numbers that are in the display if we're in standard form. This times 10 to the 10th. The 10, that's the exponent, means I need to move my decimal 
10 places to the right. I'll write my number without a decimal. See how many places that was and then add on zeros till I've moved it 10 to the right. So it was here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In the computer, you would type 8717-829-1200. 87,178,291,200.